morning, it's Tom again from Mixed the Arts and Mixed the Arts Studios. Uh, as we did with our uh, other session with this Autumn Bliss, uh, one that we did yesterday, we put the Mod Podge uh, over the top to, to seal uh, this one. And now I'm using uh, Impasso. Uh, Impasso here you can get at most art and craft stores. Um, I'm using this at the moment because it seems that some of the leaves that I've used of the maple leaves have uh, been lifting a little bit over time. So uh, we're just going to coat this now and see how it goes. It should dry clear uh, when when it's done and you can reapply uh, this as, as needed uh, when the other one is dried. So uh, you just put a little bit in a container uh, like this and you just slowly spread it evenly over your over your artwork not too thick to help it uh, sit down again uh, that's when you're using like raw materials like leaves uh, and other products that uh, might become brittle over time uh, just to keep them uh, fresh and to make sure that they the artwork that you have done uh, does not break away too much uh, over the time so you can preserve it for as long as you can uh, to make sure it lasts longer uh, so we just uh, apply this in a, a sideways direction motion just being careful that you make sure you get the glue uh, in passo medium uh, around all your all your artwork uh, that you have to make sure it tries to, to sit a little bit more so your your leaves or flowers that you have uh, already put on previously and that will stay on your artwork uh, and not break away over time when your artwork ages a little so yeah we just spread it evenly across not not too thick, uh, but not too not uh, too thin either. Uh, usually, this is quite uh, thick. It's thicker than gesso, or and thinner than the uh, medium uh, molding paste. Uh, this is somewhere a little bit in between, in regarding to what it is texturally. Uh, when you apply, you don't have to add water or anything. Uh, to this medium to make it uh, last longer because the idea is that for it to be quite thick uh, in its behavior so yeah you just slowly spread it over your artwork be careful around the brittle part to make sure it's nice and covered and then at the end don't forget to, to do the edges as well the edges are important uh, in any artwork if you've gone all the way to the edge uh, with your your art make sure you you do the edges as well because it just makes it be a more of a complete artwork and that but if your artwork is more in the center uh, and it's not near the edge of your canvas or your working space uh, then uh, this will not apply to you so yeah, we just make sure that we do the all the edges as you go around to make sure it's all all covered properly. This might take some time to dry. I haven't used uh, this uh, very much uh, before yet, uh, so we can see how it, how long it generally should take uh, if you need to reapply again uh, to your your work. Uh, also, when you're using it with the acrylic paint and things, you can apply it to your paint and it will uh, be able to be create uh, more texture uh, and depth to your, your artwork, uh, which will be really good for some people, uh, depending on what you're, what you're trying to achieve. So we're almost done, and I've almost covered all the sides and the the edges and this is also uh, this product is water based so
so it's easy to, to clean your container uh, and any other uh, areas that you you work in uh, this is good to use so you can easily just put it under water make sure your brush is th thoroughly clean After this, I might need to apply one, one more coat to make sure things uh, stick down properly. <clears throat> but there we go. So it will look a bit sticky at the moment, like that. Uh, but over time, it should, as I said, dry clear. Uh, so your artwork will will stay. Uh, to the canvas for longer through uh, through the life of your your art Just remember to do the top as well if I didn't do it before There So it should look quite good now and that as you can see it is uh, has a little bit of texture and that with drying uh, but it should come out quite good so once again I want to thank everyone very much for subscribing in my YouTube and Facebook page and I hope to talk to you again for a new session so enjoy exploring goodbye for now